You're welcome, bye! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Rend. We are, uh, trying to get some boxes together so I can keep my stuff all nice and safe, but I need one more dross metal bar. Maybe there's one in the forge that we can share. Our base is slowly loading in. Uh, here's, here's a little bit of metal. A little metal! Power and steel, metal that's real! And I'm gonna just take this crumble stone because I don't know why it's in here. So let me get one metal bar, thank you so much. We're gonna do some stuff right off the bat. That's real nice. Uh, construction components, make some raw snails. What else do I need? I've already got one rough wood crate that I made last night. We need, uh, yeah, some rough wood lumber. So that's probably sitting around in the lumber yard. The sawmill. Let's split this up. Is that gonna be enough? I'll just, I'll just take all this. I'm just gonna take all this and I, I promise I'll probably bring it back, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Alright, so here we go. Uh, storage, rough wood crate. And I'm going to need a lot more of these crates, but two will do for now. And I'll go ahead and uh, throw that lumber back because I don't want to be a bad teammate. So here you go. Have some delicious lumbar. Uh, I've got cement because I was working on my base. Got some extra salted meats here. I should show you guys... Well, first I'll show you our base. The team base. Oh my goodness. We've got a second wall here. Um... The reckoning is coming pretty soon, so we were getting all prepared, and we built around our uh, central tree there, which, let me use my rock's wings and fly down there. Shoosh! This is our divinity stone. Deposit some souls, get some experience, some spirit residue. Spirit residue basically used for absolutely anything and everything in this game. Um, but yeah, our base is definitely coming together. You can see how far along we have progressed need to get to the top of that before the other teams do. I have not ventured into the other team's territories, however, to see how they are uh, coming along with that, because I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I'm still a wimpy little guy. Some people are running around in uh, really nice, like, combat armor, and I'm still wearing leather gear, so let me just take down a Frabbit real quick. He's got some, some fur that I need. Come on, where are you at? He's hiding. There he is. <laughs> Think you can get away from me, huh? Not today. Never happened. Alright, we'll do a little bit of skinning. One frabbit fuzz. That's not good. I need like 12 of them to make the bow that I want to make. But I could also make a better bow if I go into the swamps and find some tar or whatever it is they have. Which is probably what I'll do. I got some rancid wounds or deep wounds from that, that wolf. As you can see, I'm rubber banding around a bit, which is not good, but uh, it be what it be. Oh shit, someone broke in my base? Fuckers. Damn it, dude. I'm glad I started recording just now. What a little asshole. Man. Well, I carry most of the stuff around with me that I want to keep, so... He shouldn't have gotten too much. But yeah. He, he snatched me up just a little bit. That's alright. He didn't get through the second door. This is where all my crafting materials and stuff are. I don't think you can jump up there. Maybe you can get on top of the stone and up here, but this is also sealed, so well enough. I think I finished cooking meat. Did you get my forge? He sure got my forge. Shit. That's the trouble with the forge. It's so large. Hmm. Oh well. Hats off to him. That's the trouble with Rend. Every once in a while, you just, uh, you just get robbed. <laughs> and that is why I keep most of my 
stuff in this room over here. So let's see, did he get my stones? Nope. So I'll have to work that up just a little bit. Damn. So I'll have to let him know. Let him know that there's somebody about. The enemy is about. Be wary. So, shit, I gotta make a new door. That's troubling. I was saving up some iron bars so I could make a new door, but... Fuck. He got them all. So, what do we need? Rough rope times six, hardwood lumber times ten, some cement. Did he get my armor stuff? No. Weapons? No. Well, I guess it's not all bad. It's relatively okay. Let's swap these weapons out. Oh no, this one's looking okay. I thought it was looking a little more rough. But uh, I should probably carry the spare just in case. And as you can see, I've got like a bunch of uh, topaz and crystals and stuff like that. Stuff that I would be sad to lose. I do have four iron ore, so maybe that's at least a little bit helpful. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm really sad. And I kind of just let him get away with it. I should have whipped out my other bow. Aside from this repeater, I have something that can hit at a bit more long range, but I panicked, I panicked, and wow, that was a, a chance encounter. <laughs> Start up the recording and get fucking robbed in the same instant. That sucks ass. Well, not much we can do about it now, I suppose. Sit around and cry. Cry, cry. Alright, so can I make some rough ropes, something like that? Hmm. Tools and gear, crafting components. I've got enough to make the rough ropes that I need. And what was the other thing? This is just a basic ass door. Obviously, it's easy to chop down, but I gotta get something replaced. Hardwood lumber. So I think I have some of that. Gotta make sure to keep this door closed. Good lord. Hardwood lumber. Give me ten of these. Gotta split it, split it, split it. And then uh, it'll be a little bit easier to get ten. Ah, oh, I'm so pissed off. God damn it. How could this happen to me? You know, I'm such a nice guy. I'm gonna have to move that forge, I think. I can craft another one on the top story. That might be the way to go. Ah. Fart. They're such assholes. I am glad that he didn't uh, try and fight me or anything like that. Because I haven't really gotten into much PvP in this game. But uh, I don't want to lose my spirit residue. That is extremely important, especially since I want to tame a pet. Right now I don't have any pets. But I've seen people riding around on like stags and stuff like that, so that might be a really cool thing. My rocks wings. Ooh! My skill set is a uh, Pathfinder and Assassin. Assassin is apparently really good for PvP, but obviously I'm a, a bit of a sis when it comes to that. I'm like, no! Please don't hurt me! Uh, so I gotta craft up some rough rope, and then we can get that door all together. Fuck, man. That was just, uh, not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. Alright. Two rough ropes. We got everything else. I just need to go make my repairs. Hopefully that guy isn't, like, lurking around waiting for me to leave or something like that. That would really suck. Um, fortifications. I need a new door, please. And a waste of cement. Oh, that's tragic. That's tragic right there. The dog's going ape shit. Good. You should. <laughs> A sad thing just happened. Daddy's very mad now. Ugh. I don't, I don't, I don't. However, despite getting robbed and things like that, I've been having a really good time with this game, so... 
No, no hard feelings. Eventually I'll go over to their base and uh, fuck their shit up as well, so... I just want to be prepared for it, you know? And it doesn't look like that guy's still lurking around. So good. He fucked right off. Alright. Seal my my base back up with the crappy door. <laughs> Dropped items. Oh, he was he was looting my shit, but he didn't get away with it. Aha! Can I still walk with this much? I I, I I'm having a little trouble. But yeah, he didn't get away with my ore. I think he just broke in. Ah, oh, that is fortunate. I'm so happy. <laughs> Major ups and downs. That's what this game's about. So sweet. Let's go ahead and hit up the forge. Drop all my stuff back in. Ah. Lucky day. Very fucking lucky day. Cross metal. Got a little bit of iron ore. Is that all the ore that I had? I guess. Almost got away with my flux. That is extremely rare. I do not want to lose that. You basically have to go to the other faction's zones in order to get flux. I think copper is what's what spawns in the uh, order, the order's zone. So here we go. Ah, good for me. Good for me. Good for me. All right. Pop all this into the forge. Thank God. That is all I'm gonna say. I'm... <laughs> I'm so relieved. I thought he got all my stuff, but he didn't. Ah. I showed up just in time. God. Before my house was uh, complete, there was also somebody running around. And I think... I think it might have been a member of our faction that ended up stealing, like, a bunch of my stuff. I had many sunstone topazes and things like that, and I was seriously thinking about quitting after that point, but I decided to carry on, and I'm glad that I did. Definitely, definitely. So we've got a, a fucking dinosaur outside the house right now. I'm gonna have to take care of business. Take care of business. Um... I use my repeater. Open this door up. Go on. Open it. And I got an ascension point. I have five of them currently. Fortuitous! Oh boy, don't bite me. If I do die, I'll just respawn right here. And uh, I'm trying to get my repeater level up. I can close this door. gonna kill me he hits like a truck man he's still out there he's still out there why I want to tame this thing that would be really awesome ride a fucking raptor around okay. roar again do it <laughs> it's a really bad place for my house to be it's basically right in the middle of the uh spawn point for these fucking raptor things. But it's okay. Oh my god. Such high tension in this game. Let me tell you. Alright, so I got some raptor claws and such. I'm trying to keep myself at least a little bit organized. Uh, but it's harder than it looks. I got like a huge inventory. All this shit. I'm so grateful all that guy did was break my, uh, break my door. Oh, goodness me. Goodness gracious. Alright, so let's get some more dross metal bars going. 16 branches is not going to be enough. But I can go out and collect some more relatively easily. And I need to find a place to put these crates. So let's pull out our little building hammer. And, um, change to a wall. There we go. And I think that's a good place for the crates. So let's make this our little, uh, hidey hole. 
where we put all of the best stuff. And I'm lagging just a little bit. There we go. Cool. I think there might be room for two more crates in there, but as it is, good enough. So, smack these up. And we're going to need to reinforce this. Actually, no, I need to change this into a fucking... Press R to change into a door. That would be really sad if I sealed those crates in there. I worked really hard to get them. Um, so what do we need to upgrade? Eight crumble stone bricks. Maybe I have those. Down here? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Get them. Hello. All right. So uh, let's get this together. Deposit. Deposit. Sweet. So now I've got a safe little spot that I can stack all my gems and whatnot. It doesn't matter if they get in unless they get through this door. So let's go ahead, set down our topazes, which is basically the low level gem. And then we've got dust quartz, which is the higher level gem. This is like sunstone topaz. I don't know what the green dust, dust quartz is supposed to be, but I guess we'll find out at some point. Um, I don't really need any of this other stuff. Maybe... No, I'm going to use these bricks. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and patch up the ceiling. Because if somebody should get to the top of this somehow, which with the Pathfinder uh, Rock Wings ability, it's kind of easy to get up to the top of people's houses. I do it all the time. And that should be the last one we're able to do. I do want to get all this done eventually. But take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Alright. So we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. I should probably patch up the bottom of this. Because somebody observant might just be able to see that that is where my crates are held. I'm not sure what happens if you break out the bottom floor of, like, some crates. You probably can just loot them. I don't think they break apart or anything like that, but I don't have so much raiding experience. Hopefully this uh, will be similar to Rust, and we could do do some funsies. Hmm, I need more fuel. That's what I need. So let's head on out into the world. Whew. Super relieved that that guy didn't take all my shit. And we'll cut this tree down for some logs. I've got the tier 2 axe at the moment, so we're looking pretty good. And, uh, yeah. Basically, the, the stuff that I need now is all in the swamp. So, yeah. I, I, I'm scared to go to the swamp, <laughs> to be completely honest. But we have to do it. We have to do it at some point. Love this fucking wolf. Welcome. Ah, as you can see, the damage goes up as they get closer. That goes for the bows as well. Well, he got me fucking deep wounded. Deeply wounded. That's not good. Getting plenty of sparks. I've also got a perk that allows me to find metal in rocks, so I don't do much metal work. I just kind of work with what comes from the rocks. Because I need a lot of rocks. <laughs> they all go into that stone cutting machine and, yeah, work it up. Work it up, twerk it up. We could get some hard, hard wood as well. <laughs> hard wood. <laughs> Alright, that's looking pretty good. I guess I could uh, try and smack this thing up. Got a little more carry weight. Pure silver nugget, yeah, and a level, yeah. Happy boy, happy boy, that's me. Get some more silver ore and another pure silver nugget. All right, looking good. So I need to think of a way to like reinforce. Maybe I could break the uh, the armor rack and stuff that I have. Or I think the better idea would just be to move the forge. I think that's the way to go about it. So, what do we have here? Some pure silver nuggets? 
I guess that's what he took, was the pure silver. But I, I'm not too mad about that. I can part with it, that's fine. There's some regular ass silver nuggets. And I think that was all that I got. Unless I'm missing something from the rock. Uh, let's open up the campfire. We'll pop these in. I need to work on my cooking just a little bit, so... Split this. We only need, like, maybe six. That's probably still too many, but whatever. Good enough. Cook it up. And I'm going to throw some in here so the dross metal bars can keep going. And then I can make some more crates. Some more crates. That would be great. Alright. Got some more crumble stone. Was it just that one stack? I guess so, basically. So, 56 of those cooking up in my, my personal stone cutter. Ooh, buddy. Alright, got a ton of sparks of genius, so we probably want to go back and spend those. See if I can get this stack up. Good. And spare fat, fiber bandage. I don't need much of this stuff. <clears throat> what I do need to do is go to the swamps, get some more tarberry and, uh, what is it called? Tarberry and caustic resin to make viscid tar. That's basically what you use to make these hardwood hunting bows, which kick ass, to be completely frank, to be blunt as they come. Alright, some iron would also do me well. So, I don't know. Maybe we could do it. We could take just a little trip over there. Oh boy. Is that the dinosaur or a wolf? Eh, it's just a wolf. Fucking, do something? You got something to say to me, punk? Yeah. That's right. Do the hell you want. I got armor, kid. I'll use a bandage. Usually I just let it uh, wear off or something like that, but... Sometimes a bandage is the way to go, especially if you're chaining fights together. But you have to go to the low-level areas to get gold poppy used for the basic bandages. I think I was shooting that dead wolf for just a minute. Uh, okay, we'll chop these guys up. Come along! I'm trying to make a lot of, uh, salted meat. Delicious salted meat. That's another thing that I could put in the chest. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Lots of, uh, hardwood trees around here. Ooh, yeah! We're gonna get more hardwood than we can actually carry when we go to the swamp. That big old swamp. The swampy dam. Alright. Up and over. I should probably divide this room in half. Because if they can jump on top of the forge, they can easily get to the other side. Well, I guess you can't really jump on top of the forge. Well, I mean, if you can jump up here, then you can come over here, and then you're basically in the uh, the mats room. So yeah, I definitely need to build a little something. We're gonna need a little bit more crumble stone before we can do that, but that is on the agenda for sure. Want to make this place as secure as possible. All right, so let's see what we got here. Is that gonna be enough? I think it's four across. One, two, three. Okay. So I need to seal this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. And change variant. I want a door here. I guess that'll work. It's just the one door. That's looking good to me. Nighttime! It is currently nighttime. It is a very good time to go out and cause some shenanigans. Um, basically because you get to find spirits, which you really want spirits, so you can get your experience, help your team to win a little bit faster. And this is my, my crafting menu. We're close on butchery and botany to level 10, and then I'll have to pick. 
increases chance of harvesting tensile vine and angel braid. Increase harvesting speed with the sickle. I really wish I would have changed this, otherworldly flora. I didn't realize what sp spirit flowers were when I hit level 5 in that. But yeah, I would definitely change that around if given the opportunity. Um, oh, I've got a bunch of wolf, wolf meat. We should stick that in the fire. Stick it in the fire! Uh, here we go. And I'm out of... Well, I guess I could use some sticks. A few sticks wouldn't hurt. And you have to click this fucking shit a lot. It's like, okay, I want 50 sticks, but you can't just type in 50. Which is a pain, to say the least. So let's go ahead, cook that, that wolf meat up. I'll throw my decaying meat on the floor. Decaying meat does have its uses uh, for animal blood and making poisons, but currently I don't do either of those things, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, good God. There's so much to do. So much to do! Oh, I need my, my crumble stone. Why didn't I grab those bricks? Come on, bruh. I need 16... At least for now. I'll wait for it to stack up a little bit more. And it's there. Wondrous well. And now my base looks pretty solid from the outside. It's really, really nice from the outside, but I still have a lot of frames and things lying about. So I'll need to uh, patch this up. Catch it as we go. Alright, there's some more. Go ahead and salt this meat. Huh. Get that cooking level. Cooking, cooking. Call me Cookie. Yeah, baby. And I'm going to stick my remaining salted meats into this chest because I don't really have a whole lot that's like ultra valuable at the moment. But, uh,. I don't want to lose my meats. It's important to have a good stash of meat, isn't it? Oh yes. Light leather wraps. I never use these things. I basically just crafted them so I would have them crafted. Alright, spirit residue. We should probably get rid of that. If I end up dying and lose 150 spirit residue, I'm going to be super sad. So let's see what we could do with the taming tools. We need a sunstone topaz. Okay, got that. Spirit arrows. Just need some rough arrows. We can craft those. Hmm. Spirit taming bow. So we need two sunstone topaz. Three rough ropes is easy. Rough wood branch is a little harder. And then the lesser totem of the other side. Four topazes, adhesive paste, crumble stone bricks. My god. There's probably enough of this stuff laying around at base, though. I don't... I don't really have to worry about it so much. I'm just kind of waiting for morning. I don't really want to go out in the night. Like, as you can see, I have enough spirit residue and stuff to keep me held over, so... Not too bad. Not too bad. I should probably grab some more branches. Venom nectar... Hmm... I'm at a loss as to what a lot of this stuff does. Really, as you go deeper into your crafting tree, you'll figure it out and you'll be like, Oh, this is what I want to be an expert in. It's almost impossible to craft absolutely everything in the game. So, I understand a lot of people want to, like, solo some shit, but this is not the game to do it in. This wolf was waiting outside my house. Thought he was gonna get an easy snack. Not gonna happen. Uh, should we shoot some of these banshees? They do provide a lot of light leather, and I still have much more work to do as far as my leather working goes. As you can see, I've uh, stacked quite a bit of light leather already. I'm not too worried about it. Um, let's split this stack, take half. And I can go make some, some light leather armor. Get myself all leveled up. 
that would be a good idea. A lot of this game is just crafting things that you've already crafted before. <laughs> Craft things a whole lot so you can uh, craft them better. The next level. The next level of crafting. I also probably need some sticks, so let's do that. Oh, there's a spirit. That's what I'm talking about. See these things? They float around. You just want to hit them with like any harvesting tool. And you will collect their, their essence to be turned in at the tree. Ooh, that was a big one. That filled up that little bar down there pretty good. I just need a, a shit ton of sticks. I can craft spirit arrows. And, yeah, sap also comes from collecting the sticks, which can be used for cement. So if you have the water and the crumble stone, then go ahead. Craft a little bit of a cement. It's helpful. People like that. There's a lot of these banshees floating around. There's a spirit over there next to them. I'm kind of tempted to just run in there and try and grab it. I mean, my armor's good enough. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it! For the holla! Thank you! <laughs> Alright! So, let's get some crumble stone and water before we head back. Then I can be sure that I have enough... Enough crumble stone, at least, to make that, uh... Cement. Which, you need a lot of cement. No matter what you're doing, even if it's like your own base or the uh, team base, you'll want to donate a ton of cement. And now uh, you might say, Dayton, why do you keep saying cement like that? Because I see mint. Let's see, we got rabbit shoulder, thin leather. I don't want to carry around this, this meat. I've still got some meat because I have this uh, bloody backpack. Oh, it's the, the wolf chop. Alright. Get rid of that. I don't need none. As you can see, I'm getting tin ore and dross metal from crumble stone. Which is freaking awesome. Best perk. It's like one of the only perks that I don't regret taking. <laughs> Alrighty. Here is the, the main source of water. Once you start your game, you're going to be drinking from this a whole lot. I got one near my house as well, like leading to the swamp, which is super convenient. One of the main reasons that I built my house where I did. But yeah, I haven't done a whole lot of adventuring outside of the, the safe zone. So I'm hoping to change that relatively soon. But it's just scary. It's just scary to lose all your stuff, man. Are you kidding me? I don't want to lose all my stuff. I worked hard for that stuff. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do in here. I need uh, some rough ropes, probably. Medium armor. Now you can see how far I've progressed by the border of these things. So, four rough ropes. Tangle vine. Oh my god. I don't have any tangle vine. Tanning rack tier two. What? Bro, what? What? How's it tier 2? I don't understand. That's something that I have not gotten to. Also, here are some stones. Talked about this in the last episode. As you can see, it's progressing relatively nicely. I can't donate anything to mysticism, though. How about adventuring? Adventure! Sniper bows? Hell yeah. Get that. Get that in. Construction, I know I have a ton of these as well. We'll get the blasters. Huh. Alright. And level 5 construction, so we can pick a skill. That's going to be quite nice. So let us do that. Construction. Increase carry capacity by 5%. Reduce damage from headshots. I'm going to increase carry capacity. I'm not much of a PvPer. Apparently, you might also be able to respec some things at some point as well, so we'll look forward to that. Taming tool station. Let's see what my team has in the uh, public boxes. Take what you need. Coarse thread boots, rugged hide spalders, man. 
This, <laughs> this shit's been looted. Looted! Oh, damn. They got some sweet ass... Oh, wow, look at this. I'm gonna take one of these. I just need to find one with the right... Uh, the right stuff. Bonus clip size plus 19%, range damage and penetration. I think that's the one. I'm gonna get that. Hell yeah. That's way better than the fucking regular ass repeater. Whoever made these, thank you. Australis. He's one of those uh, forever guys. You know what I mean? I don't see him logged out. <laughs> like hardly ever. So, uh, big ups to that guy for making our faction a thing. Oh boy, that is, that is sexy. I'm gonna say that much right now. Wow. Awesome. So, how about, like, a spirit siphon or something like that? Basically, these boxes are about as safe as it gets. You, you can put anything in these boxes... And it's going to be guarded by the entire team. The entire team might also end up digging through it, but... <laughs> uh, we've also got, like, these others. Trusted chests. So, you can kind of hide stuff. I mean, if people are trusted, then you trust that, you know, your name's on it. They won't touch it. That kind of shit. Um, doesn't look like there's anything that I really need here. I was hoping to find a spirit siphon pre-made or something like that, but doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So, all right, let's craft up some rough arrows, so we might make the uh, the spirit arrows. Spirit arrows. I call out to my elders. Uh, do I need all of these? Probably not. We'll just make dirty. Dirty 30. That'll be nice. That'll be real nice. Uh, as you can see, this is a game that takes a lot of patience. If you're planning on sitting down, playing it, getting some shit done, you're going to need to be extremely patient. Which I am, for the most part. <laughs> Sometimes I just want my shit to be done. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. So, let's see. Mysticism? Where was that? Ah, crap. Taming. Crafting. I can't even remember. I can't maybe. Oh, there it is. Alright, taming tool station. Hmm... It's not in the Mystic's Hut. Sometimes you gotta kinda run around and be like, Okay, where's the taming tools? Here, how about spirit stables? Taming workshop. Yeah! So, let's craft this up. Get some spirit arrows ready! Sunstone topaz. Oh, that's right, I didn't grab that. Well, that's okay. Taming crystal and... Spirit Taming Bow. We will get those shortly. I'm super paranoid to go anywhere. Because I want my, my base to be safe. Excuse me, fella. Pardon me, excuse me. So yeah, a little more Spirit Residue. We are good. We are good. I should have brought my Sunstone Topaz, though. I don't know why I wouldn't remember to do that. For shame, for shame. I also need Tangle Vine. I guess I'll take the the long way home. So I can try and get some gold poppy. Some Tangle Vine. Oh yes. Going to be quite delicious. I could also get some Crumble Stone. Oh no I can't. My fucking inventory is packed. It's because of all this leather. Yep, yep. So I need the Tangle Vine sooner. Sooner than later. Not, not a lot. We'll be able to harvest it relatively quickly. Oh, that's a fake bush. That bush didn't want me to have anything. I don't understand why you would do this to me. Get my hopes up like that. Ooh, and I got some lost blossom. 
Awesome Blossom! Those are the, the Spirit Blossoms that that talent I should have taken had mentioned. More Tangle Vine. Don't mind if I do. And that guy is also harvesting Tangle Vine, so please don't come over here. Let us go our separate ways, shall we? Hearth Melon Morsel. Kind of collected that on accident, but okay. Sure, why not? This is far more Tangle Vine than I actually probably need. But I will uh, set it at the base. Oh, and a spirit touched down right next to me. Harvest it. Harvest it! Be harvested! Alright, that was a big one. That was a real big one! It gave me lots of whatever on my meter. A Peter meter. Hell yeah! Ah, oh, this game's just good. This game's just good, clean fun. MMO meets Rust meets Extreme Crafting. Like, Rust never had crafting like this, dude. This is insane, new level type shit. And I love it. And I love it! Right now we're just running around kind of playing with our wieners and stuff, but... Eventually we'll get into the swamp and... Oh my god, that's gonna be amazing. Alright, so we need rough ropes. Go ahead, craft those up. Does somebody else have some spare fiber twine? Hmm. We can go check the rack. Bloom! Hello? Anyone? Oh, there's a lot of tensile vine. Quite a few fiber twines. Can I just borrow these? I'm just gonna borrow these. Thank you. Thank you! I'm not gonna craft them all into ropes because I'm not an asshole, but... <laughs> Let's see what we need. A couple more rough ropes. I can make 24? Ooh. The limiting factor is the fiber twine. So, let's make... Let's make half of that. I could also get some more fiber twine, but... What's the point in that? Come on, man. I want to make this dark hide head and stuff. Then I gotta start farming medium leather. Which is uh, significantly rarer. And it will force me into the swamp. Which, as I said, I don't like it. I don't like it, I don't trust it. But we gotta do it. We gotta do it at some point. I'm gonna consume these spirit blossoms. Boom, boom, boom. And... What else do we have here? Melons. I could actually do some alchemy and make those melons even more delicious. Make an essence. An essence of melon. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Where's the brewer's bar? We got an alchemy place around here somewhere. There it is. Hey, everybody. Essence of hearth melon. Hearth melon morsel? What do you mean I don't have... What? What is this? Hearth melon morsels! I have 17 of them! Wait, why are you doing this to me? I guess I gotta throw it in there, huh? That's probably what it wants me to do. Alright. Go on. Make that up. And I don't actually need it or want it. I just... Want somebody else to have it. If they should need it. 16 more spirits in the bank. I should check out my faction rank. See if I'm trusted yet. Nope. Not yet. Just respected. Fart. Hmm. Could I also make like a healing potion? That would be really helpful to me. Grave lily, ice thistle... Maybe I will keep this essence. I think I need it. <laughs> I think I need everything. Consumables. Here we are. Elixir of the fish. Hmm. Increase movement speed. Cooling elixir, warming elixir. Recovery. I need essence of gold poppy, salva poppy. My god. Gold poppies are just in, like, such high demand. 
It is ridiculous. I ain't gonna bother with it. There you go. Enjoy some hearth melon. Did I put it in there? I just exchanged it for rotten fruit, right? Yeah. Cool. Got him. You can also see in the lower left corner my Assassin's Resolve, which is uh, this talent here. Killing a target reduces energy and hydration drain by 0.5%, stacking up to 50 times. Removed on death or log out. So I'll finish leveling that up. Next level, we get to pick through Shadow Step. Instantly travel forward 20 meters and become stealth for 3 seconds. Damn. Adrenaline Rush. Instantly restore stamina at the cost of energy and hydration. No. Double Jump. Gain the ability to double jump. Hell yeah, that's what I'm going for. The Shadow Step is also really awesome, but... How, how are you going to say no to double jumping? What the fuck? That's amazing! Alright, so let's pop into this tree. Um, rugged hide head, rugged hide boots. I don't even know where to get yicks and thread, so I guess we'll have to figure that out. At some time, at some juncture... Now you can see my... My level is just creeping up so very slightly. I'm making a lot of boots. I kill you and wear your boots! Boom! I'm gonna make the rest of these ropes. Let's see how those boots we made are. Movement noise reduction, critical damage, poison resist, poison resist, critical damage, armor, sprint speed. Ooh! Sprint speed plus is really nice. I think I'm gonna take that. I swip and I swap. We lose 10 max health, but gain some armor. I don't really care about heat or cold insulation, so... That'll do just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some of this stuff in the, uh... The container over yonder. In yon container! Take what you need! We got so many boots, we don't even know what to do. I wish we could tear these things apart and, like, recycle the... The pieces. That would be really helpful. At the moment, our shit is just absolutely filling up. Oh well. Do what it do, baby boo! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Should I leave some saltpeter in one of these things? That might be nice. I don't know what to do with it, so you guys can have it. You're welcome, bye! I'm such a generous teammate. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Should I finish out the boots? I suppose I should. Make three more with them. More boots than we could ever need. And I made two boots. That's a critical success. Critical success. All I really need is more fiber. Fiber twain. Hmm, armor, poison resist, max health, armor. That's unexciting. <laughs> oh well. So, to get that fiber twine, we're gonna have to run around. Oh my god, that's somebody's pet. Is that your pet? It's a cool pet, bro. If I could keep my fucking head straight for long enough, I could get a pet. <laughs> But I haven't gone back to get my sunstone topaz. I was trying to get my weight down by sacrificing some of this light leather. Of which I have much. So here's some raw fibers. Did I take all of the, the raw fiber from the loom? I think I did. Well, that was not good of me. Are you, are you getting fiber? Yeah, he's got a axe in his hand, I think. So he don't need no fiber. This is for me. Oh, God. Well, well, well. That ain't good. I guess I could take the long way. We'll head over here. This is basically back in, like, the starting zone. So I don't have anything to worry about while I'm over here. Unless some PvP players come through, but... 
even then there's a, a buff when you're in the starting zone. It's like Retribution of the Gods. And if you hurt a newbie, you will be hurt back. <laughs> Which is really nice. So, that should be enough fiber. 164. They cost four each. You should make like 30. Something like that. That's That sounds like good math to me. And I've got way more boots than I could need. I think everybody has at least these rugged hide boots. Is there a difference in my sprinting speed? I mean, I know supposedly there is, but I don't really notice. But plus 35 sprint speed, how are you going to pass up a, a stat like that, man? <laughs> It's like 0 .08 poison resist, or plus 35 sprint speed. Oh, pretty easy choice, huh? Uh, let's make some fiber twine. I can make 50. 50 of them. Super. Alright, so how many rough ropes can I make? Let's do the 12 then. Here we go, here we go. Saving the day! Saving the day! More boots! More boots all day! And then after this, we gotta work on the helmet. The rugged hide ahead. So we might actually need more thin leather. I've been avoiding it. But I think that's a mistake. <laughs> I don't think I did the right thing there. A, a barrel? No, it's just dropped items. What'd you drop? Rotten fruit? I think that was me. You know what? Take all this. Nobody's even gonna want these. They're disgusting, and they, they just make me feel bad, so... Here! You can have them! Keep them away from me! Excellent. Excellent. Alrighty! Well, let's see. It's raining outside. Wonderful. Atmospheric, if I may say. <laughs> Alright, so now let's make three more boots. Three more boots! Three more boots! Is it gonna get me there? I don't think so. That sucks. Mm, not quite. I made five boots. That's that's impressive. I need more twine. I need more twine. Does somebody have some twine? No, no, indeed. Yixen grass. Where's that from? Highlands. I think we need to go to the highlands for that. Hmm. There's just uh, a lot of goodies in here. Can I borrow these? Can I just have these? I appreciate it. I'll trade you some thin leather. That's good, right? That's a fair trade, isn't it? Cool! <laughs> Carrying a heavy load there, are you, guy? Uh, let's drop these. We got critical damage, armor, bleed resist. That's actually kind of nice. And, and, run speed plus 15. Is run speed different than sprint speed? I don't understand. I guess this is running, right? And then this is the, uh, the sprinting. So, excuse me, everybody. Coming through. Oh, I also forgot to turn in my, my shit. Oh, well. When you see me again, friends, we'll, we'll be in the house. We'll get the Sunstone Topaz. We'll try and do some taming shit. That would be quite nice, I do think. And I just got caught by a, a Banshee. One of them bad boys. There's another spirit over there. I gotta get him. How could I say no? Come on. Easy day. Anyways, friends, I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. That is always, always appreciated. We've got links in the description as well to Twitter, Discord, 
Patreon, if you should enjoy supporting me on any of those, I would also enjoy it quite heartily, I do promise you. Once again, friends, this has been Rend. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. We're going to keep it going. I, I really like this as a series, so we'll see what happens with it. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and until the next time, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.